But this is Pokken. Uh, I don't actually know if the free trial is still going, but there was a free trial going on. I think the game is on sale currently still, because I went to the eShop earlier today and saw it on sale. But uh, this is Pokken. It's Pokemon plus Tekken. I also just realized I never answered the question about what my most popular post was. Um, yeah, I'm the only one who gets to start hive minds around here. Am I still antagonizing people with Chandelure? I mean, I haven't played this game in forever. So, yes. Looks like Sienna is, uh... Sienna might be available in a bit. This is- yeah, this is Woken. I liked this game a fair bit on the Wii U. I, I- I think I played this game way more on the Wii U. Even though I'm not a huge fighting game person. But it was like, it's got Pikachu, what more could you ask for? I only play fighting games if they have Pikachu in them. It's this and Smash Brothers. Those are the only fighting games that have Pikachu in them. And of course, I play Pikachu in neither of them. But that's beside the point. Can I even do the, uh... Oh. They're warning of cult leaders returning to the Kin fandom. Woken, the liberals have taken over Pokemon. Fucking hell. Also, I need to edit my stream info. Because we're not... We're not doing that no more. If you thought I played Smash Brothers like an asshole, prepare to see how I play Pokken. It'll be very upsetting to watch. Did I not finish the, uh, single player? Huh. Apparently not if I didn't do Chroma League. What the fuck? Huh. Your rank will change after five matches. What? Oh. Oh, that's who I'm fighting. Why is this voice acted? I don't know. It's not good voice acting. Whenever people are like, oh, why doesn't Pokemon have voice acting? Do you really want this? Is this what you want in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Is that what would have enhanced the game for you? I mean, they probably have a bigger budget for, uh, the main games, but, you know, I I'm just saying. Voice acting doesn't have to be good to be good. You're right. Ow. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat by this guy. Good news, I've completely forgotten how to play the game. That was a- that, I didn't get a single hit in. Alright, watch this professional strategy I have. This is my professional strategy. This is how you win the game. This hurts to watch. Also, there's no type advantages in this. Otherwise, some Pokemon would just be better than others. Chandelure is a Pokemon that you have to work hard to get hits in for. Oh shit. Ooh. I don't remember how to do my burst. Oh, here I go.
Also, hi, Robin. Welcome. Don't come near me! Yeah, Chandelure is a bit baby sounding. They should give Chandelure baby hair. I want Chandelure to look like a baby. I, I'm such a fucking cheapo in this game. <laughs> As you can see, I have all my stats in attack. Where there's a will. I don't know what I earned that for, but I'm glad I have it now. Master of Psychological Warfare. Okay. Who the hell do you think you are? What kind of fucking title is that? Oh! He's got Chandelure. He knows what's up. I am terrible at ditto matches and fighting games. Probably because I play in like such stupid and unconventional ways. Get the hell out of here. Ow! I'm gonna die. No! Why does Chandelure sound like that? What, that's not what you envisioned Chandelure sounding like? That's not Th that's not Th that's definitely not Theo from Celeste. I know his name is Theo, but that's not what he looks like. What the fuck? That was my move. Oh god. Yeah! No! What? My strategy is I'm an asshole in this game, essentially. Now, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Don't say that! Whatever the fuck your name is. If you say I have the advantage and I'm going to win, I'm going to lose. Don't really imagine Chandelure having a voice that's an item. Well, he has a voice now. Attack. Boost my attack. Thought of a great topic to deba debate about? Well, remove it. Sceptile? I could beat Sceptile, I think. I'm predicting them. Aren't you proud of me? I'm predicting them. <laughs> I'm predicting. Oh, that was that Chandelure's voice. Well, it's still funny that that's the first thing that was said after that.
Oh my god, stupid. You really hate this woman. There's probably a way I could turn off voices. Ow. Ow. Oh, I mega evolved! That's not fair. I can't mega evolve. I'm a fucking chandelier. Ow. Ow. Ooh. No. Am I playing against NPCs? Yeah, I'm playing against NPCs right now. Ow! The most important thing is that I win against this fucking computer. I will use the dirtiest tricks imaginable to do it. She can't get me from this distance. I won. There is absolutely, like, someone watching this later on YouTube and fucking hating my terrible gameplay. I'll admit it. I'm a scrub at this game. I never, I never got good. I'm not a high-level player at all. My rank is, like, E1. Online. This will be quick and sweet. Charizard. I can handle Charizard, I think. Uh. <laughs> right as I said, I can take on Charizard. It starts beating my ass. Uh. Yeah, it's very hard to memorize all the moves in this game. Luckily, I don't have to as a Chandelure player because I can just do the- <gasps> No! No, you fucking don't! No! No! Oh god. Oh, God. No! Stay the fuck away from me! Stay away from me! Oh! oh. Fighting game strategy is just mash, mash, mash. That's what I'm doing with the A button right now. <laughs> Stay away from me. I can't do it. I'm a fuck it. Like, don't, like, if you don't know how to play this game well, don't play with me. Because I will just do that and you'll be very sad about this. Tekken, Tekken is pretty complicated. And once again, I'm not a fighting game expert at all. I think this game is very fun, though. Overall win count 100. Toughened, Battle Trainer. 100 wins, and I got them all by Shadow Balling. You know, fucking Balp is like an expert at Tekken. Balp from Wayne's friend group. He's like a ridiculously high rank in one of the Tekken games. If you want to watch someone be good at Tekken, do not watch the stream. Go watch Belt. I feel like I'm. This Gardevoir is not proving super dangerous.
I didn't have to be as cheap for that one. Gardevoir is apparently very easy. Uh-oh. Hey, I can burst too. Hey, asshole. You wanna go fucking mega on me? Go to hell. Never figured out how to do fatalities in Mortal Kombat when you were a kid. Like, sometimes you get the finish prompt and then never figure out what button you had to press. I've never played Mortal Kombat in my life. I'll be 100% honest. I've never played Street Fighter I either. Those are, like, the two, like, like fighting games that everyone has to play at least once in their life. I've, I've never played either. And I will go to hell for this. They gave me a four-star rating because I didn't win that using exclusively Shadow Balls. Oh, I'm the funny number now. I have the funny number now, guys. That's so cool. Only 34? I beat a guy who was like 33rd. Come on. Though, I got good news. I got good news for everyone in chat. I don't have to explain Tekken to you. Also, good night, Atticus. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, all it's European bedtime. They make you go to bed specifically right now. But you will hear you will hear the good news briefly. Well, first, let me get rid of this. Uh, there has to be settings to turn off the uh, turn off the announcer. Because I think people will lose their shit if they have to listen to her anymore. Do I have to turn off all voices? Are you the advisor? No advice. You will not speak. <laughs> Silenced. So she probably- she should talk less. Um. Yeah, synergy focused works for me. Change her outfit- oh. I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> this is like the outfit of, like, a Phoenix Wright character. Which one was whimsical? This is the sex appeal they went for? Is this supposed to be sexy? Do you guys think this is sexy? I didn't really think they were trying to sex up this game too much. That's Komida? Yeah, that's a woman! Do they only- <laughs> I'm not sure I follow where your point is going. I don't know if they were going for sex appeal in Pokémon Tournament, the Pokémon fighting game for children.
bizarre, bizarre thing. They constantly go for horny in children's games. Name the horny moments in Super Mario. What's the horny parts of Super Mario? There is none. I rest my case. Pauline? You're gonna tell... I mean, her older design, but her older design is also ugly. She looks scary in her older renders. She looks good in Mario Odyssey. I still stand by my point. I think you guys are just trying to sex up games that don't need them. How about when you complete Super Mario Brothers on the All-Stars variant and Peach kisses Mario? Oh man, not a kiss. Oh god. Ah! Everyone who's like under the age of 10, close your eyes. That's a bit too much heat. Doesn't Peach also kiss Mario in New Super Mario Brothers? Be just another minute or so for my, uh, for the good news. Google Super Mario horny moments. You're not going to get any good results looking up that. That's just begging for disaster. It's not going to end well. Do not here. conflate this with you want to do this, it is good, but the first page is indeed safe for work. When you look up Super Mario horny moments? Well, good to know if you look up the Mario horny moments, you'll be fine. At least for the first page. Once you get farther down, it's over. Don't even think about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, new. Do a basic battle for now. This works for me. Shadow Lord's like the only one I've used. They have like fucking Shadow Mewtwo in here, and he's like super fucking powerful, but he has like 3 HP. Not literally 3 HP, but it might as well be. Pow. There's Darkrai, there's Blaziken, Pikachu. There's two Pikachus. You got Pikachu and Pikachu Libre. Lucario's here. Gardevoir. Scizor is here. That's a cool addition. Empoleon, Braxian. Why have I, why, when did I play Braxian enough to get to level three? Machamp's here. Decidueye is dope. It's fucking Decidueye. Um, Gengar's here. He's looking a bit weird. 
But I mean, it's Gengar. He's a funny guy. Funny purple man. Sceptile, Krogunk, Mewtwo, Chandelure, Suicune, Weavile, Charizard, Garchomp, and Shadow Mewtwo. I feel like the art style for this game is like a mesh between Detective Pikachu and like the mainline Pokemon games. Like they, the Pokemon definitely have more like realistic textures, but they still have their more cartoony designs. It's kind of like how they have all of Mario's pores showing. Also, good night, New. Thanks for hanging out. Um, who do I want to fly? Yeah, to show off Shadow Mewtwo. This is the fourth set. Which cheer skill would you like to use? Choose where you want to hold your battle. We could choose any arena. It's kind of unfortunate that, well, some of these, some of these, like, locations are cool, but I wish there were, like, locations from the actual Pokemon games, you know? Like, yeah, Mystery Carnival is cute, and so is Neo City, but, man, could you imagine some of, like, the actual Pokemon locations in, like, a 3D fighting game? That'd be dope. You wish Detective Pikachu looked like Pokin? I don't know. I, I like po P Detective Pikachu's, like, stylized, like, more realistic look. It, 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 like, took a bit to grow on me, but, like... Let me put it like this. The reason why something like Detective Pikachu always worked why with me, and why, like, Sonic, I'm still a bit weird on, is because, like... Everyone's asked what Pikachu would look like in real life. Everyone wants to know what a real Pokemon looks like. At least w at one point in your life, you thought about it. Nobody thought about that with Sonic the Hedgehog. Everyone was fine with the progressive commercial where he was just like cartoon dog shit Sonic. That's what I'm saying. We gotta go to Diggersby land. That's what I'm thinking. Thanks for playing with me. You're welcome, Rifle. Whoa. Ow. does a ridiculous amount of damage. Ooh. <laughs> this four fireballs should not do as much damage as they do. They need to. I think Nintendo should do more stuff like this in Hyrule Warriors more often where they let a company make an entry into one of their franchises uh, themed after Nintendo IP. Absolutely. I'm 100% down for that. Like, this and Hyrule Warriors are so cool. I... Oh my god. <laughs> and there's Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors has potential. It's just that they, like, drew from, like, three games and they were like, yep, that's good. Like, Hyrule Warriors has a lot of respect for the history of Legend of Zelda. Fire Emblem Warriors is almost ashamed of its history and only goes off of, like, what's the most popular games. Also, there's no skins for the Pokemon as far as I'm aware. It's just, you got the guy. That's it. And, like, people can be opinion- people are opinionated on Fire Emblem, but... 
like, they sh the Fire Emblem has like 15 different entries they could have drawn for at the time of making the game. They drew from like a third of that. Like, you, ha you have fucking Shadow Dragon, Awakening, and Fates. And those were mainly, like, represented. Then you had one character from Fire Emblem 7 and one character from Echoes, and that was it. What about the other 10 games? Who give a shit? And I mean, it's more like 8 games at that point. But, eh. Also, yeah, they, they had a lot of characters from Fates in there. I think, like, when they started development on Fire Emblem Warriors, they probably thought, like, everyone was gonna love Fates at that point. And then by the time Fates came out and everyone kind of fucking despised it, they were just like... Mm. Mm. Here's Marth. Enjoy, Marth. You will enjoy, Marth. Didn't Fates sell extremely well, though? I mean, it sold well, but it was under what Awakening did. And you also have to keep in mind that Fates pretty much exclusively sold well because it was... It was, like, touted in the same way Pokemon is. It had two separate versions that you could buy. Like, because Fire Emblem Fates was separated into two different copies, like, obviously it was gonna sell well. They doubled how much they would've sold. I mean, they didn't literally double it, but, you know, stuff like that will make a game sell better. Anyways, I have good news now. I have good news now. You know how I was talking about how Sienna couldn't be here? Hi. Oh shit, hold on, I don't have my desktop audio working on OBS. Uh, try talking now? Oh shit, no. I will fix it. Try again. There we go. You have okay. sound now. Sienna's here. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, I am... I mean... It... Oh no, shit, okay. I... I'm... What's that again? Now you need a sec. I need to share the mission. You got it. My, I'm getting my audio together. Uh, oh, gotcha. Um, I think we need to start I was gonna use OBS for audio, so I get in my damn headphones and not into the viewers' ears <laughs> and my mic. Um. What the? Hi. Welcome. Um. Yeah. I I tried to use my 8 bit do controller and it was out of battery and it has a dumb feature where you can't change like the mode that it's in between like PC mode and Switch mode unless it has uh. battery. Even though it, it's you can use it wired, that's bizarre. So I can. What's huh. what's the PS doing with capture? What's that? Come on, it's it, it's always technical difficulties with these. <laughs> always, uh, always, always. Uh, not a, not even. No, no <laughs> choice in the matter. It wouldn't be a Morgan Sienna collab unless there was technical difficulties. Yeah, it's foregone conclusion. I think we've maybe had one stream together where something didn't go wrong. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm good now. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, my switch. I'm using Pro Controller, even though 
I was having I was having I always have issues with the pro controller. Well, I have issues with the pro, contr pro controller always, but with Pokémon, I've always had them. Especially, Weird. um, it's just it's just the D-pad like because the D-pad gives you like bad wrong directions. I just oh, end yeah. up getting like I, I get I get like the wrong attacks in Pokémon, and it makes me mad. Yeah, understandable. Makes me hit the desk. Um. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out online. I'm gonna have you put in a code. I'm gonna have you put in. Um, All right. I should put in. I should you put, put in. Try looking for the kind of group you want to join by selecting search groups from the join group menu. Oh, my monitor is still uploading. No, oh, we, uh, yeah. monitor, turning it off. Bye. No more monitor audio. Okay. <laughs> friendly match. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna want you to put in do this friendly match search and then uh, put in DBZ sex forty seven, please. <laughs> um. Uh. Um, DBC Sex 47 is the code that I... Anytime there's a system like this, I like 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 a code search system, I always use DBC Sex 47. Um... How am I supposed to do that? I, I don't understand Pokémon's thing. You go to... you just... okay, you just go to like online and then go to a friendly match, and then... It has verse. It says versus code, right? And you, you. It has oh, use yeah. and cancel. You just like use, and then you type in. You just expert stuff. Uh, the beloved code that everybody loves, which is, which is I love it. Thing, beloved. I'll hope that Hogan doesn't. And then it doesn't fuck me. A new challenger. Influence. Yeah, I got Reggie um, off the screen. In time. Evil Murphy? Uh, did you- did you select use on- on versus code? Oh, uh, I don't know if I- well, now I'm yeah, fighting uh, Evil Murphy. Okay. Well, I can wait- I can wait for you to, like, throw to Evil Murphy or whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna beat Evil Murphy. Evil must be stopped. Yeah, that's he's... that's a good point. I, he's kicking my ass currently. I haven't gotten a single attack in yet. Evil Murphy is... He's got the evil energy. So he he's... does. He is using Shadow Mewtwo also, which is supposed oh, to be wow. the evil Pokemon. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty much fucked. In that respect, then. Oh, I got some damage in on him, <laughs> which is, I'll take it. Don't worry, I'll beat Evil Murphy uh, this time. Sienna, have you seen my Pokémon strategy? I haven't seen your Pokémon strategy. This is my Pokémon strategy when I'm playing Chandelure, who's the only person I play as. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. <laughs> Evil Murphy's yeah, a little too... Oh, Evil Murphy's a little too clever for that. Oh my god, he got fucking burst again? Oh. I got him. Yeah! I got him that time. Fuck off. You'll never beat me, Evil Murphy. It'll be years before you can face me. Ow, oh, fuck. How does he keep getting fucking burst mode immediately? Jesus Christ! I wonder if that's like his, if it's like his cheer skill or something. Maybe. 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. No. Evil Murphy got me. Watching your every build now, gonna you're gonna wanna back out to back out to uh this shit. And um Did I even put the right number? Uh yeah, so yeah, just press just just switch that switch versus code to use. You put the right number, it's forty seven. Okay. You just need to switch switch it to use there, yeah. Then you're good. Um, easy mistake happens to all of us. We all make mistakes and then have to fight Evil Murphy as a consequence. Yeah, I don't. Um, wanna, I don't want to okay. fight Evil Murphy again. Yep. Okay. Now it's time. Um. Fluffy Wuffy wins a con. I have sixty nine wins. Um. Yeah, I used to, I played this game a lot on Wii U, but I got it on Switch and then just didn't fuck with it that much. So Same. I don't... Um, so, let's just... Here's my, here's my technique. I hope you enjoy it. Let me just remember how to... Oh, wow, yeah, I'm... <laughs> Do you like my technique? I'm it. Okay, now we're fine now. We're fine. This is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine that I'm evil in this game. Oh no! Don't you beef in it? I like. I literally it takes me like five years to remember like how how to do anything in this game. All right. Don't I worry. mean, it is a very complicated game. Thank God I have Chandelure's Shadow Ball, so I could be a cheap ass. I think that's like one of those techniques that like would make people mad. Like if I if I went on like if I was like playing against some fighting game streamer and I did that, they would be very upset, especially if it worked. Sometimes I see like f like clips of people playing Smash Brothers. And they they get like super mad at people playing like certain characters, and I'm like, I don't know if I could play a game if I was that mad all the time. Yeah. Okay. Like I like I saw one clip where this guy was fighting like a Samus, and he was like, I fucking hate this game. Why am I playing this? And I'm like, that's a good question. Why are you playing it if you're that m upset? It doesn't have to be like this. Uh, wait, you know, okay, you know, well, last time I was playing this game, I wasn't playing Libre. I was playing, I was playing my, um, I was playing my main animal. Um, What's your main animal? Not my main animal. My, I, I, I would consider Libre my main animal, but I was considering, I was playing my boy Garchomp. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was playing him a bunch of Maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm more acclimated to him. Mentally, um, right, well, I was playing this. I was playing this last time when I was playing. I was playing with um. What I would do is, well, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Like, all right. Um. Oh, I would. Uh. Wait, I don't remember what the move was. Yeah, there we go. I do that when I was playing against Bell, and I would just go, I am a dwarf and I diggy diggy holes. <laughs> and Bell. <laughs> <laughs> and Bella was really, really mad about it. She didn't like it one bit. Um. What do you mean? That's great. <laughs> digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. <laughs> That's not any worse than how I play. I think Belle would hate playing this game with me, then. 
Not that I, like, do that, but I do like to spam a move over and over again. Was it, I wasn't really, like, spamming it that much, so much as I was just, like... Mm -hmm. I was just, like, every time I did it, I would do that. <laughs> and she didn't... No. 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 Stay away from me. I gotta get out of here. No! Ow! I got slapped. But your Garchomp is way better than my Shantle. I got one star for that. Yeah. Nia thinks I'm a dipshit for that match. She's well, like, Nia thinks my me. Nia thinks my battles are fun even just watching. So. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I want my battles to be fun. I'm okay. Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I keep trying to just, I keep trying to, I keep thinking I'm playing a normal fighting game, and I just try to press up to jump, and I remember <laughs> it's not, this is not a perfect world. In a perfect world, fighting games like this would not exist, but this is not a perfect world. Ow! Ooh! Barely got that. That was a close one. What is your what is your experience with the tech, the Tekken series outside of this game? Um well this game doesn't really play like Tekken very much. Um mm. it's the weird thing. It's very, very dissimilar to Tekken. It's just kinda like the Tekken team did it. Maybe they were originally planning on making it more like Tekken. But it didn't end up like Tekken, but uh other than like being 3D sometimes. Yeah. But even then, like this game's idea of 3D is very different from Tekken. Okay, I'm beefing it. I really gotta Ball. Ball. Oh no. Ball strength. Um but, like like this game's idea of 3D is very different from Tekken's. Tekken's is still like you're always you're always like facing each other, you're not like this game, you have way more, like, free, like, when you're in field phase, you have way more free reign than a Tekken. Mm -hmm. Um... But, uh... But the, the... Um... Yeah, uh... There are a lot of, like, Tekken, like, moves and stuff in this game. Uh... Like, Pikachu has a lot of Heihachi moves, for instance. Mm -hmm. Um. Ow. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Garchomp has a lot of, uh, Brian moves. So, like, they got just... Mokujin is in the background of the training stage. That's for all the for all the people who've never played Tekken before. That's the guy who was in uh, um, Half Life VR, but the AI. <laughs> um, in the finale. Yeah. <laughs> it's Monkujin from Tekken. See, I've never, I've never played Tekken. You know me. I'm not, I'm not the fighting game person. You absolutely are. I play, I played, I played Tekken a little bit. I, I bought Tekken Seven recently, but I haven't like played it at all because mm -hmm. I just haven't gotten the opportunity. I'm gonna play it probably soon though. I, uh, I, have, I have, ta I had Tekken Tag Tournament Two on Wii U, <laughs> or I have it, and it's like that game's really funny because they got Nintendo costumes for all the Tekken characters. Um. Oh, why? Wow. You just wow, you said that while I was hitting you. Yep. Dang. Um. And they also got a Snoop Dogg stage. What? 
Tekken Tag Tournament 2 has a Snoop Dogg level. And a Snoop Dogg, it has it plays a Snoop Dogg song. I and the nice thing is you can set the music for every stage. So what I did was I just went in and I just changed the music for every level to the Snoop Dogg song. Um <laughs> I I I'm looking this up right now. Not that I don't believe you, but also I need to see this with my eyes immediately. That's that's totally fair. <laughs> oh, oh. The Snoop Dogg on his Snoop throne. <laughs> okay. Ow. I'm so glad they got Snoop Dogg for Tekken. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Yo, Garchomp is a shark. That's fucked up. We did, we really don't ever think about it. Oh! I gotta be honest, I don't know what button is the support gauge. It's like L, I think. Okay. I think support in L. I need to remember that. Um, Um, wait a minute, but I don't, I don't, I like slightly, I just like mapped it so that I have ZL and ZR instead of L and R mm -hmm. as support and, and, and block because it's just a little more convenient. Yeah, I'd imagine. Um. Enjoy ball. Oh. <laughs> Both of us going for the fucking counter attack. Ow. Ooh. I'm getting my shit wrapped. Digging a hole. Digging a hole. <laughs> You're digging at me. I'm bald. Ow. I don't know why I went ow when I was attacking you there. No. No! No! I had my burst gauge too. But I was like, oh, I should save this. I shouldn't have. Fuck's wrong with me. Mr. Garchimp. Uses his conquering spell <laughs> to win f combat situations. He's digging a hole at me. Um. Yeah, um. I don't, yeah, I just. I think the reason that I just, like. Stop playing this game so much on Wii or on Switch is just, like. I don't know, actually. I really, I really don't know. To be quite honest. It was just a thing that happened. It's just like, you know, it's just like, I, oh, and I consider getting, getting back into it a little more, uh, I definitely,
Oh, he slapped me into you. Yeah. The tr trick of the trick of Garchomp and Cubone together. Oh, they got a funny shuffle in the background. That wasn't nearly close enough. Awesome net play we're getting here, also. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we have, we have good, the connection's good right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this game also just has better net code than Ultimate does, so that helps. <laughs> um. That's not a very high standard. Yeah, it's not even tremendously. It's not even good netcode. Like, 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 your great netcode. It's just, like, solid. And that's all. Sometimes that's what you need. Um, but also, to be fair, since the last time we played, I got, like, a fucking massive internet upgrade. Like, played anything on Switch together. I got a ma mm -hmm. fucking massive internet upgrade, so. Um, My internet is the same. Bad. Um, they like fucking put fiber in here, and we got a new router and shit. And now I get like speeds that are. I I got those I got those Stadia speeds. Oh yeah, I love Google Stadia. You know me and Google Stadia. Um, uh, I'm, I'm mostly into Google Smell, but I think Google Stadia is the way of the future. Take it back. Google Stadia is not fucking helping me win. <laughs> if it doesn't help me win, it sucks. So I take it I back. Know. I'm resigning from Google Stadia's fandom. <laughs> oh, I wasn't far enough by. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> that was an absolutely horrid round for me. Guard chimps. Strength Guard and power. Which this game had alternate costumes? Well, it does, but only if you if you play in, if you're both playing the same guy. I think it's sad. <laughs> you can't even pick. What if I changed Pokemon? Even though I don't know how to play any of these jumps. Um. I'll I'll do. Well, it's... Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, this guy's funny. I like I like the, I, I was playing this guy a little bit. Or let's... I'll, uh, uh, do this. Oh shit! It, I think it picked Lucario for me automatically because I was taking Whoa. too long. I didn't want to play as Lucario. Do I look like a Lucario player? Uh, all right, let me let's let's get a, let's see. I'm gonna show Machamp. See, he has funny abilities. Um, on account of his hilarity. <laughs> and, um, Fur Controller hasn't been swining me so much today, I'm glad, I'm glad for it. Ow. Oof. My meteor punch. Oh my god, Lucario's fucking combos. Ow. Oh, <laughs> he 
He does the fucking so long gay Bowser. Yes, yeah, yeah, so Technique. Oh, shh. Everybody, anybody ever heard of it? It's called Joseph's Bizarre Adventure. I've never heard of that show oh, before. Tell yeah. me all about it. Well, it's about this guy named Goku. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say, he's a bit bizarre. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You have to be a pre you have to be a little bit of a weirdo to watch this show. I see. You don't have to be a weirdo to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but it helps. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh no. <laughs> Machamp does move so fast. He's red now. Because <laughs> you pissed him off. Doesn't Machamp have a... No, wait. No, it has a Gigantamax form. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, doesn't he have a Mega Evolution? No, he doesn't. It's a Gigantamax. So, they couldn't have added it. I mean, they could have added it post-launch, but... Are they really gonna update Pokémon Tournament DX at this point? Oh god, I almost closed the game! <laughs> Good fumble on my part. That was close. <laughs> That's the champion move. You were playing mind games on me. You were playing the mind games, so I go to the menu. <laughs> I'm a champion. You are I'm a champion. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. I got I got natural up to blonde. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to play Lucario. I'm just gonna check out all the characters. So this could be a little character showcase. How about Gardevoir? She might she might be closer to Chandelure. Yeah, um, Uh, Gardevoir is going to be a bit of a problem for my buddy Machamp here. But, um, all it was just, you know... Um... Classic example of the... Of the... Of the... Dynamics at play in the world. I love the, like, fucking billboarded people in the background. <laughs> oh no, I picked Jirachi and I want to stop. Fuck. Whatever. It's fine. goes close to you. <laughs> what is this, like, move? Is that, like, like, what fairy bullshit is that? Ooh. Yeah, this fucking Pokemon theme park rules. Everybody loves to Diggersby Land. Absolutely. Like, I know they had a Pokemon theme park once in, like, fucking, like, Japan in, like, 2005, but they need to bring that shit back and bring it to America mm -hmm. also. Yeah. We, we need some kind of, like, Pokemon theme park, because there's so much yeah. potential there. Like, fucking Nintendo struck up a deal with Universal Studios. Why doesn't Pokemon do the same? What has Universal Studios got going for them right now, anyways? Well, they got a Jimmy Fallon ride. Oh, fuck, you're right. I can't, like, Pokemon can, can't compare to the fucking Jimmy Fallon line. Ow. Oh, I'm being punched to death. Whoa. 
Nope. Goodbye, Gardevoir. Can't. Can't be pressing buttons. I know, but it's fun to press buttons. I love pressing buttons, you don't understand. Oh, it's me, watch out from Pokemon! I, I... <laughs> is that the sound he makes? Uh, yeah, it is now. <laughs> he just made it. That was Machamp speaking. Damn. Not me. Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call Blaziken. Big fucking chicken. Like, uh... Oh, you... Oh, I, I'll pick... This is... Look at... Look how Gardevoir looks like an anguished Shakespearean actor when it's defeated. She needs to be as dramatic as possible. Uh, I gotta... I'm got, I gotta have... Gotta have... Toys. Toys? Isn't this yeah. one of the DLC characters? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've um, never seen I the DLC guys in play. So I, I, Blastoise is like really, I find him awfully boring to play, which is uh. unfortunate because Blastoise is one of my favorite Pokemon. But um, mm -hmm. you know that's that's how it goes sometimes. But I can do, I can do that. <laughs> I find Blastoise's model very goofy. Something yeah, about the way they like. Looks. It, Elongated arms really don't help. Oh my god. I'm kind of digging Blaziken a bit. Got spin... spin Ow. moves. <laughs> Damn. Oh god, yeah, I am noticing. Blastoise's arms are really fucking long. That's probably what makes him look so unnatural. Yeah. Why are his arms that long? Yeah, this Blastoise model is really just off in ways that are like, you don't notice them at first, but when you do, you're like, Jesus Christ. Wait, I don't know why I stayed like that so long. Is that like a stance or something that Blast Ice has that I don't know about? Oh no, shit. Oh wait, no, never mind. <gasps> no! I'm gonna lose. Yeah, this really is like Blast, uh, human in a Blastoise suit. I refuse to believe this is the real Blastoise. It's too scary. Yeah, I think it's actually so sick the way it like makes the ice like stabilizes itself to like launch the Mega Blast. Blazing just so, screamed. That's so sick. Hey, I'm gonna try Blazing again. I, like I got five stars on everything except for bonus. Oh, you should have you should have collected more bonus stars. Yeah. I'm gonna get was all my what are all the characters? I love uh, this is this is the most tragic character of all. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna actually almost definitely like throw this, but because I can't play this guy, but this guy's so funny, so I have to, mm -hmm. so I have to play Pro Um <gasps> Yeah. Krogunk is like the best guy. Krogunk's one of the best Pokemon. Um, just to be clear. And his his characterization in this game is so awesome. Uh But also I'm fucking awful at him. Like like yeah. Ow. Ow. I, So one of Krogunk's Kro things thinks that he like throws random items. He just throws bombs? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes he throws puddles of fucking poison. Sometimes he throws bombs. 
Krogunk really is the funniest guy in this game. Bombs? He, he has like a fucking funny ass, like. He can swim in the air. <laughs> I can't remember what. Well, you can do that too, apparently. I don't remember what what his air. Oh, there it is. Rocks. No. Oh, uh, something. Mega Blaziken time. Ooh. No. Krogunk's got frog friends on his side right now. He's gonna win with the power yeah. of friendship. Oh my god, look, look at all his friends! <gasps> this is the best character in any video game ever. <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but Krogunk is so good. This is the funniest guy imaginable. <laughs> uh, he really is. He's just pure chaos. I think every fighting game needs a character that's like pure chaos. I'm sure most of them do. Is there a type advantage in this game? I don't believe so. No, there is actually a canonical like reasoning for it that like the fields that they're in like are like specifically like designed to like eliminate type advantage as a factor. Mm hmm Um Uh Um Muscle chicken. I like muscle chicken. Uh, I'll show up. I'll show up. Um, I don't remember. We're gonna show the DLC. Uh, I'll also show up. You just slash because I don't. I don't. I don't remember how to play. You just slash it all. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be. Um. I don't remember. I literally. I don't know if I ever knew how to play Aegis Slash, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, he's kind of funny, though. Aegis Slash is like. He does his stance changes. He, he's a stance character. Like. He's a classic fight in the market type. Um, and he's gonna be a sword for everyone. Just picked up Blaziken like five seconds ago. And I mean, if you've watched this stream for long enough, you know I'm not good at fighting games. That's not my thing. That's Sienna's thing. Fuck! Fuck! Yeah, the combo though. The death, the death would be just like he's not going to thrive. He can't thrive anymore. Um. I mean, I did win against Sienna, but I still would say, in general, Sienna is way better at fighting games than I am. That was a weird interaction. But it worked in my favor, so it's great! 
Yeah! Kick him in the face. I don't know how this stance works. It's so, like... I think it's just literally he just passively counters everything while in it. Ow. Sienna got that run. Got the fucking sword. But I'm coming swing. back. Beams at me. Ow. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, I got you. Okay. No, I thought. I thought if I just dodged, um, I'd be okay. I got my meter though. I'm not letting you come near me. I don't trust that. I made you lose your meter. This was always the plan. Nice Lugia statue in the back. Dead sword. Dead sword. Give us cool stages. Yeah. They are cool stages, I just wish there were some inspired by, like, you know, the main games. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad, but, I mean, you get stuff like Magikarp Festival, so it's okay. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you fight uh... a chicken with a sword, the chicken will win. That's uh, real life facts. Yeah, okay. oh, yeah, here you go. Okay. These are real like... facts. Tip for all the Pokémon fans at home: if you don't know what to do to pick your support set, just pick Frogadier and Eevee. Mm -hmm. Um, it's usually it's really good. Frogadier is really good, specific. Um. Love chars are just floating in the air like that. Ow. Oh, oh At least I'd like to think so. Someone will probably disagree with me. Yeah, put your belief in the comments below. Um, <laughs> if it's wrong, though, you'll be executed. <laughs> if you say anything rude about my fighting game abilities, you're gonna get sent to jail. I'm Dark Side Phil. What does Dark Side Phil even do anymore? I don't know. I don't think any of us keep enough tabs on Dark Side Phil. It's just like he's just an easy target. 
Um. Ow. I ran out of mega. I ran out of my mega move, but it's okay. I won. I won that match. We'll see if I can pull in a big win. Come on, Blaze again. No! Well, I lost that oh, shit, one. Shit, that combos. Frog and Deer, Frog and Deer assist in the... In the, in the Charizard... Burst attack combos. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, that was just um, a big blast move. It's okay. That was a close one. Charizard and Sisson are heaps. Um, interesting synergy. No, I'm gonna look at other care. I'm gonna go look at other creatures. Yeah. All the chat, the chat is gonna see now. I'm gonna pick Suicune. I've never, ever, I've literally never picked Suicune in this game before. <laughs> I don't think I ever picked Suicune on the Wii U version. Um, even so, like, let's. Oh. I'm glad that Suicune is an option in this game. <laughs> Just yep. Discord being crunchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's weird. Uh, that's weird. Suicune is a nothing Pokemon. Suicune's cool. It's a fun doggy. Also, yeah, the Entei movie was dope. I love the Entei movie. Yeah, <laughs> where Entei's a dad. Like, uh, I think it's a pretty decent choice for a for a for a plot. Yeah. Oh. Now I want to watch that fucking Pokemon movie, the one with Entei. No. Oh. There wasn't a Raikou movie, but wasn't, like, Pokemon, like, the one with Jimmy, wasn't that based around Raikou? Stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like, po yeah, it was like Pokemon Chronicles or some shit. Yeah. I'm getting put in the ice. Not very nice. That's my trope. Hope you enjoy it. Found Raikou attacking Jimmy. I want to see a picture of Raikou attacking Jimmy. That's pretty good. 
Raikou will always attack humans until the end of time. <laughs> wow, my sweet fin is level 2 now. Ooh. Um, I remember I had like almost, when I, on Wii U, I had just like almost every single character was level, was fucking level 0, or like level 1 in the fucking. Uh, Pikachu Libre was level, like, was level 100. Um, that was my, I'll play, I'll play some Pikachu Libre. Now I'm more, now I'm, I remember how to play the game again. Mm -hmm. It might be more. Or I might embarrass myself again. In public. Pikachu Libre. It's almost definitely like placebo and all in my head, but I feel like in this game, like when I try to grab a counter, it works like it like does like the red counter thing like way more of the time, mm -hmm. and I think that's part of why I sort of I, I stopped playing it less because it made me mad. Um, Ow. Blaziken will never give up. He is determined. I'm in the ring! Man, this game's a lot more charming than I remember it being. Ow! I think it's supposed to mad about Pikachu Libre when she got announced for this game. Why? People were just like, why wasn't it Halucha? A lot. Oh. Which I guess is fair, but like, I... I think Pikachu Libre is pretty awesome. I'm a big Pikachu head, so... Yeah. I think oh, Pikachu well. Libre is pretty funny. There's a classic Lily. Shouts out to Lily. Um, all the... Uh, some of the people in the chat, if you remember the Mario Party stream, uh, or you might just follow her on Twitter, you know, we, hey guys. Um, point is, she, one time she said, like, I, 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 she sent, like, a Discord message in the server, she was, like, talking about how she, like, uh, she said, like, I disagree with your assertion that Pikachu Libre would cook and eat boiled oats, but I defend your death to say it. <laughs> and, like... And I, like, that, like, that, like, Pikachu, the concept of Pikachu Libre eating boiled oats has not left my mind since. <laughs> um... Boiled oats. Being hurt. Place it can hurt him. Oh god. Oh no! Oh, it didn't kill me somehow. Am I gonna do enough? 
It's it might. I don't think it is. Oh, no, it, no, it's not. Oh, no, it is! Fuck! Ooh. It's like... Yeah! <laughs> there's a lot of... That does a lot of kill. Yeah, the Lysikin's pretty fucking strong. Did you have Jirachi up? Yeah. Yeah, that that is part of it. Jirachi makes those stronger. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Um, I just like keeping Jirachi around. Yeah, Jirachi is just like you're stronger in in you're stronger in burst. And also, your burst attack is stronger. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm dead. I gotta pull it through. Um. Come on, Blaziken, we got this. No! And I'm dead. Maybe not. I don't have- I don't have the up. It's gonna- it's gonna hurt, though. It is gonna hurt. Which basically means I'm dead. <laughs> Unless I get some really good combos in here, which I can do that. Perfect pro controller D pad example. I was just fucking trying to walk forward <laughs> and it was doing my high stance and making me fucking wave to the crowd. I don't, you I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Apparently, that was a four star performance, even though I fucking lost. Well, sometimes you, um,. Lose our loser, the winner, the win, and you never lose. <laughs> Where's Incineroar? Uh, I they decided to put Decidueye in instead. That's where Incineroar is. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, Incineroar would have kind of been a shoe in. It's okay, Incineroar's uh, in Smash Brothers instead. Um. I almost feel like it's possible that, like, especially because this is, like, also Bandai Namco, like, they just, like, heard, like, no, oh, you can't be putting Incineroar in, we're doing that. Put in, put in Decidueye instead. <laughs> but also, I don't know, like, Decidueye is, like, more of the fan favorite, so. And also, they already had, like, two wrestlers in this game. Yeah. Oh, oh, blazing! You gotta get up, buddy. I think Primarina is actually in the background of like one of the stages. Huh. Don't quote me on it. I think like Primarina is in the background of the beach stage. Blaziken's new moves! Oh shit, I'm out of burst. Nope, 
I'm dead. Barely. Barely. Hey, Marina sipping an apply juice. As long as apply juice. Yeah. Who do who doesn't? Alright. Like. It'd be weird if you didn't, honestly. If someone told me they didn't like apply juice, I'd be like, mm, are you even human? Or are you like a weird sea creature that evolved into one? Yeah, that's a good point. I've met a lot of sea creatures that didn't like a pie oh. juice. I met yeah. crabs, they didn't like it. Actually, I think, I think you know the pet crab saga videos they got? I think they might have pet crab eating, drinking apple juice. Oh, what maybe. the fuck? I've never seen that. You've never seen the pet crab channel? No. Fuck. Okay, there's a crab. There's a channel called like Heavy Crab on YouTube. I think this is this is homework for anybody in the chat who hasn't seen these videos, and also for for Morgan. Mm -hmm. There's a channel called I think it's called Heavy Crab, and it's just videos of like this guy's. I think it's like a Korean channel. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, maybe Japanese. I don't remember. Point is, it's just this guy's crab eating different foods. Like he just feeds his crab like chips and like apple juice and soda don't don't worry this is all fine for the crab crabs are scavengers so they're like built to eat whatever the fuck mm -hmm. uh, um um and yeah it's just an awesome channel you get to see a cute crab um eating foods very delicately very gently um, oh. and it's and one of my favorite YouTube channels, definitely, um, definitely subbed to it, um, I have to, I have to see this channel now, for sure. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Hit on you. That do a lot of damage. die. I'm not gonna win this match. <laughs> the old guy in the background scares me. She wants me to keep up the good work. <laughs> um... Probably got a couple more matches in me. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what you're. I don't know when you're planning on ending, but I'm. I'm, I'm about full. Uh, yeah. And I, I've been. I've been. I've literally been leaving my. I. I stopped. I. I was playing. I got. Um, you know. I've been. I've been. I haven't. I've been without my Sega Saturn. My trusty Sega Saturn for a while. Um, oh, yeah. because the, uh, my, my Game Shark cart broke, uh, and I, also, I didn't really want to use the Game Shark in the first place, because it kind of is bad for the cartridge slot. Um, I got a new action replay in there, um, I've been playing all, it's not for cheats, it's for playing, uh, pirated games. Mm -hmm. I mean, legally obtained backups, uh. No, it's okay, Sega doesn't care. Um, Sega, yeah, well, they're working on Sega Snap, they don't really... <laughs> I'm not really worried yeah. about that. Um, if they I was so distracted. If they I was so distracted thinking about my fucking Sega Saturn. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like. Anyways, the point is, I was playing. I was playing some Clockwork Knight. Uh, I just it just got just got in the new the new cartridge today, and I was playing some Clockwork Knight, and uh, I just have that open. I'm on like the second to last level of that game. Yeah. 
And I'm just, I'm, you know, I don't wanna, I, the, you can't, I don't think I have saves, so. It was real short. Real short. It's like, a, like an hour long. Um. Uh, what we in the business call a punish. Yeah, I'm oh. getting punished. Very but badly right you now. Know. I killed you, though. Yeah. Blaziken, get up. I think, like, if anything, Sega doesn't care about piracy enough. Like, I know that's, like, a weird statement, but, like... Dreamcast piracy was so fucking easy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, um, all, they also just don't really care about, like, if you look at the workshop for that one, like, the, like, Genesis collection yeah. on Steam, there are just games on there. Yeah. Like, there's just games on the workshop of that, like, it's not just ROM packs, like, sometimes, like, sometimes they just got games on there. It's insane. Um. <laughs> it's okay, Sega just needs one more bankruptcy. They're not gonna go bankrupt from pirating though. Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna go bankrupt because they make a they make a Yakuza game where pure you says fuck. <laughs> And everybody unsubscribes from their YouTube channel. Yeah, that's um, the last fucking straw. Yeah. Yeah, if Cosmo Kiryu says fuck, then I, I say goodbye, Sega. Should have been left in the 90s, idiots. Yeah. They're gonna do, like retrospective videos like the Yakuza series had a rough transition to swearing. <laughs> I figured out how to block again. It took me until like we're nearing the end of the stream I just figured out how to block again. Ask. I could have, but I had I had pride. I I can't ask. I just I just I, I, just, I just figured you were one of the you you you're just the well I just figured you're just the type who doesn't want to block. Um, no, see, I don't want to block in Smash Brothers because for some yeah. reason it just doesn't process in my brain that you can block in Smash Brothers. However, in this game, I'd like to do it more. Well, you can. It's very, you're very aerial in Smash Brothers. It's just, it's a very air, air, air-based game, and you can't block in the air. So, mm -hmm. I think it's harder for people to internalize sometimes. You use those fucking pit shields, though. Yeah, I do like my pit shields. And I do love a good pit shield. Nope, you read me. You read me like I'm a fucking novel. Oh, but you blocked it. I figured it out. Um. Ow. One of the things about, like, uh, about just, like, about burst attacks in this game is that, like, you don't need to, like, react or read it real. Like, you can just. The cutscene, like, you can just start holding block during the cutscene, and, like, if you're not doing anything, it'll, you'll, you'll just, you just block it. Mm -hmm. I earn the title Technical Player. Alright, um. Oh! Oh! Diggy diggy holes! Diggy diggy holes! Oh my, where, where am I on? Where are all my Yogg Ventures fans? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know me, I'm a big, I'm a big Yogg Venture fan. It's fucking me up how big Archaeops is in the background of this stage. I don't even see him right now.
Ow. <laughs> that went badly. That went terribly. That, that has a way longer range than my long range stuff. No. Blaze again, wake up. It's just extra dramatic. I do love a good drama. <laughs> so dramatic for an awesome loss. Alright. Okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to Mr. Guardchimp for a couple games. Mm-hmm. And then uh Cause I, I I mean I just I just need to be a dwarf and diggy diggy hole a little bit more you know what I'm saying? Oh absolutely. Uh, and then I'm gonna be done. Um, okay so. Alright, so I need to pick Joshua and Jake's back. I'm in danger. I died. My, 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 okay, so I definitely, if this, uh, we, like, lose connection at any point, then definitely just, we just stop, I think. Um, mm -hmm. uh, also, I am gonna try and, you know, me, I love to get a grab. Oh, I was trying to fucking. I was trying to move forward, not do whatever the fuck that was. Well, oh, I'm dead. Blaziken fucking dies. Oh, it's me. It's me, Honeydew, from Hugs Cast. My... Is That's that my guard comp. Like? Gotcha. Yeah. You know, I don't think I ever actually watched Hugs Cast in my life. I didn't, either. I just absorbed Diggy Diggy Hole by Osmosis. Mm -hmm. Basically. I think, like, the only Yogg's cast video I watched, aside from, like, the, the Minecraft, like, song parodies, which, I mean, yeah. Um, I think aside from that, I remember watching, like, a... I think it was Star back when he did YouTube. He did, like, a charity, like, fight with the Yogg's cast in TF2. <laughs> For that thing. Where the fuck is the Yogg's cast even at now? I don't they... know.
It's so weird, like, how many, like, YouTubers from, like, the old days that were considered titans just, like, disappeared. Or rather, they just dropped out of the mainstream completely and still make stuff, but, like, rarely. Remember when Captain Sparkles was relevant again for like a week because one of his songs became a meme? Yeah. It's kinda weird. I don't think I've heard from Captain Sparkles since that happened. You know, I was trying to activate my burst mode, it never happened. Ow. I'm being murdered. I always thought they did something related to yogurt. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> Yogscast was all about. It was a yogurt pog podcast. Oh, it's me, Honeydew. We're gonna play some Minecraft and we're gonna review some yogurt. <laughs> I... I remember the last thing I remember hearing from the Arts Gas was they got the like real hardcore game for Mm-hmm. Which like they were right to do. <laughs> like they they were in the right on that one at least. Yeah. Like, it, like one of the Arts Gas guys was just like, hey, you're a fucking you're like racist, dude. Like I what the fuck? Yeah, that was probably the last time I heard the Yogg's cast also. It's just we I, I I feel like they probably disappeared from the public consciousness right after like Yogg's adventure didn't happen. Like it didn't happen so hard that the entirety of Yogg's cast didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, like Yogg's adventure. Yeah, I don't know. It's freaking. I don't know. I like bet. I don't know. I bet they probably still get a lot of views. I bet, especially, like, I don't know. There's like a Minecraft Renaissance the past couple years, too. It's yeah. Probably, like. Maybe. Alright. Remember when Yogg's like, Cast was DLC in Sonic and all Yeah, I was literally about to mention that. <laughs> I did last one. Alright. I think, like, YouTubers being DLC in video games is, like, inherently funny, but most of the time it ages, like, super poorly. The Critic, like, thing I learned recently from Nostalgia Critic, you know how Nostalgia Critic and fucking Streets of Fury EX? What? Like... Do you know about that? Like it's just, it was I like this beat 'em up, like clue. it was this beat 'em up and like indie beat 'em up and Yard and the Sonic Critic was in it and like they added him as DLC like a fucking like a week after the channel awesome shit happened like oh, oh like just unfortunate time like it wasn't really their fault like it's just like they finished this character that they were working on I mean like they still like allied themselves with the Nostalgia Critic at all, so like, I don't- it's fucked up, but... <laughs> it's so fucking... sad. Also, the developer of that game developed Streets of Rage 4. Oh. Um, <laughs> um... Like, it, it, it's a good game by all accounts, it's just- it has the Nostalgia Critic in it. Um... Not Streets of Rage 4. Streets of Rage 4 has no Nostalgia Critic, to my knowledge. Um... But he's hiding Street somewhere. Streets of Rage 4 is also pretty good. 
I, I, haven't, I haven't played Streets of Fury X. Didn't they also Fury. remove the Nostalgia Critic from AVGN Adventures 2? They did, yeah, AVGN Adventures 2, they're replacing him with Fred Fox. <laughs> I mean, the new, like... I, I mean, consider... Well, Fred Fox was, like, the villain of the first game, so it kind of makes sense for him to be back. Yeah, it's just... I told you about, like, me watching the Irate Gamer AVGN collab, right? Yeah, we did it at the same time. What's gonna happen? Whoa. Oh, mine works! Mine! Um, <laughs> um, you didn't tell me about that. What, how was it? <laughs> well, it was probably as good as an Irate Gamer episode could be. Which is mm. to say it was, like, a mediocre, like, AVGN review. Mm-hmm. It was like, I don't know. I mean, not even like trying to shit on Chris Spores. I'm glad him and James like set aside their differences. I just like, inherently I think James is more entertaining. And like yeah. most, of, most of the review was like Chris Spores. And like he, like honestly, I think he's trying his best to like improve the show and like kind of separate it from just being like, oh, haha, ha, bad AVGN clone. But like, I don't know. It, it was like, <laughs> I actually watched a little bit of like the Q&A he did afterwards and he said it was more for irate gamer fans than AVGN fans. And I was like, yeah. That makes sense, because I barely understood this. <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't get the appeal as much. It was like it was fine. It was acceptable content. It's just like yeah. eh. And with that with that with that review of the of the um with that review of the uh of the AVG and IRA Gamer crossover, I'm gonna um Oh wait, I gotta Rampaging Battle Trainer, that's my new title. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna go be Clockwork Knight. Clockwork Knight, um. I believe in you. Uh. But yeah, um, that was fun. Thanks yeah. for having me. No um, problem. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, and everybody, uh, make sure to go on, go to youtube.com slash heavy crap. I don't know if that's link here. I'm gonna put the link in the chat for everyone if they wanna oh, watch. Please I don't, do. I wanna watch. Uh, I don't know if it's like I don't I think it's called heavy crab. Um Yeah they got okay here I'll just send like a, a link to like a great Uh, uh, here's some, uh, what's, what's the best, what's the best one, um, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just send over, uh, Pet Crab Eating Noodle. Oh, please do. Um, um, uh, where's the, here, there's the, there's the link for everyone in chat, um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for having me, um, no problem, uh, uh yeah, I'll be here anytime, bye-bye, bye, -bye. bye. Uh, yeah, I was Sienna, I think, I think we're good to end here. It's been a shorter stream, but I started late. I will try and start earlier next time. I had fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, Tetris and Pokken. Uh, I probably could have started with something else for the stream comeback, but eh, I, I, I saw both of these were doing event type things, and I was like, I have to. I have to play both of them, otherwise I will die. Uh, but anyways, that's gonna be it for tonight's stream. Uh, I put a question mark next to that because I want to do Paper Mario, but if I start late again, I probably won't do Paper Mario. Uh, the Pokken event was really just that it was, like, they had the trial for it, and you could play it for free.
for a bit. That was basically it, to be honest, but it was like it was worthy enough. I did it for ARMS, I might as well do it for Pokem. I owned both of those games, so I didn't have to, but I did. It was important. Um, but yeah. Next time should be Paper Mario, and if not, uh, who fucking knows. But uh, I hope you all have a good night and take care. I'll see you with another stream real soon. It should be tomorrow.